lemon pepper chicken tenders. Need I say more? Let's go. All right, so let's go ahead and do a quick roll call so to tell you what we have right here. We have our chicken tenderloins here, buttermilk, some flour, butter, hot sauce. We have some lemon pepper seasoning here. We have some lemon zest here, some garlic cloves minced here, some honey, more lemon pepper seasoning, paprika, garlic powder, and some lemon juice. So these are the ingredients, guys. Let's go ahead and continue. Okay, so we're gonna start marinating our chicken tenders. So the first thing we're gonna do is put them in a Ziploc bag, or if you got a container that has a fitted lid, you can do that also. So we're gonna start by adding our buttermilk here, our lemon juice, lemon zest, of course that lemon pepper, our hot sauce, our garlic powder, and we're gonna add a half a teaspoon of our paprika here. We're gonna save the other half for later, all right? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get that all mixed up. We're gonna close it up first. Let all the air out of it. And we're gonna get those flavors all mixed in like this, all moved around, just like that, guys. So I'm gonna place this in the refrigerator and we're gonna let this marinate for a couple of hours. Now, guys, the longer you have it sit in this buttermilk, the better because it, what happens is it, that uh, acid from that buttermilk, it just tenderize, tenderizes the chicken and makes it more uh, juicy, but you know, minimum of two hours. But if you don't have two hours worth of time, then that's fine. Just go ahead and place them in there for about 30, 40 minutes, and then you can pull them out. But we're gonna let ours rest for about two hours, all right? And we'll be right back. Okay, so while our chicken is marinating in the buttermilk, we're gonna prepare our flour mixture. So we're gonna add our cup of flour here. We're gonna add some garlic, some paprika, and our lemon pepper seasoning. And we're just gonna get that mixed up like this. All right, so we're gonna set this aside until our chicken is done marinated and we start frying, all right? All right, guys, so we're about three hours in. Here's our chicken uh, brining in our buttermilk. So we're gonna go ahead and start the process or continue the process. So we're gonna bring a bacon rack over here and we're gonna bring our flour also. We're gonna put it right there. All we're gonna do is take our chicken pieces out of our brine Dip it in our flour, rest it on this bacon rack. I'm gonna switch this up since I'm on this side. And what we're gonna do is start heating our oil too. So once we finish this, you know, we can be pretty much there and we can drop these babies in there, all right? So we're gonna take our chicken pieces, shake off as much excess. Of course, you're gonna get that coated in here like that. You wanna get all those crooks and crevices. And we're gonna just let it rest right here on the baking sheet. All right, and we're gonna do this with each piece. And guys, I'm not gonna show you the whole thing because of course you guys know this is gonna be a little tedious. We'll lay it right there. All right, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up. And once I finish, we're gonna come back over and we're gonna start getting them in those that hot grease and get them baptized so we can get to eating. All right, so we have all our tenders breaded. All right, so let's head over to our stove. All right, so. It looks like our grease is up to temperature. So we're gonna start dropping these babies in here. And you don't wanna overcrowd it. Depending on how big your pot is, you may wanna drop just, a, you know, maybe a few pieces, maybe four to five, and cook them in batches. It's okay to cook them in batches if you have to. Looks like I'm gonna do about five pieces. And again, depending how big these pieces are, you wanna cook them four to seven minutes, uh, but you already know once that chicken starts rising to the top, you already know you can take them out and they're good to go. All right. All right, so it looks like we're ready here. So we're gonna remove our chicken pieces, take a look at that. Oh man. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add them to this rack here and I'm just gonna sit them in our warmer and we're gonna let them warm while we finish up the rest of our batches. All right, so here are our tenders all fried up. I'm gonna place them back in our warmer and we're gonna start preparing our lemon pepper sauce. All right, to get started, we're gonna melt our butter over medium heat. And once we get it all melted, we're gonna start adding the rest of the ingredients. All right, so now we're gonna start adding our honey, our lemon pepper seasoning, lemon zest, 
and our garlic. And we're gonna get this all mixed in like this until it's well combined and comes to a slight boil. All right, so now we're there. We're gonna go ahead and turn that off because we don't want this to just to boil over or, or boil and start evaporating. We're gonna leave it right there. We're gonna pour it into an empty dish. And then we're gonna get our chicken tender soaked in this beautiful sauce, all right? All right, so now we have our chicken in a bowl. We're gonna take our sauce. Man, we're just gonna pour that over there just like this. Oh, brother. And I'm just gonna kind of move it around, toss it around in there like that. And that sauce just like that. Oh, man. Woo, take a look at that, guys. Oh, man. So let me go ahead. I'm gonna put this on a plate, get it all dressed up, because we gotta get into our final presentation and quality control. Guys, take a look at what we have. And I'm gonna take some more of that sauce. And I'm just gonna drip it, more of it over here like this. Oh man, and I'm gonna add more lemon pepper seasoning on the top of it. You know, we like to keep it lemony, peppery. And man, just to top it off, man, we're gonna throw some, some lemons in here just to make this baby look absolutely delicious. And there you have it, guys. Lemon pepper chicken tenders. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Also, I'm gonna leave all the measurements in the video description below so you can check it out. Let's go ahead and get over the quality control so we test this out. All right, let's go. Okay, we are back in here for what I like to call QC, quality control, guys. All right, man, y'all already know I love me some lemon pepper. Y'all know I love lemon pepper. So, you know, this here is gonna be a treat for me, right? Oh, man, look at that. Oh, man. Anybody wanna come and help me eat these lemon peppers? Man, all right, let's go. I know y'all like, man, be quiet. All right, look at that. Ooh, man, they sticky. Oh. Look at that. Oh, man. Let's go ahead and try it out. Mm. Mm. Is there a lemon pepper heaven? I think I want to go. Mm. Y'all already know how I feel about lemon pepper. I keep saying it. There's not much to say about these, except they are absolutely delicious. You want to check them out. Oh, man, that butter, honey butter sauce, it's delicious. Mm. Tenderloins, crispy. So, until then, y'all already know who I am. I'm Spinelli. This is All Wings Everything. And I'm glad you guys came out. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. And remember, I ain't no chef. I just cook a lot. And now I'm out. Peace. <laughs>